Greetings from Los Angeles, California, United States. Got a question for you. How much do you need to know to be a good music and worship arts leader in your church? How much do you need to know about sound systems and lighting systems, projection systems, instruments and all their electronics? How much do you need to know about the Bible? How much do you need to know about working with musical groups of different ages? How much do you need to know about the politics of the church, working with pastors and elders and deacons and committees and all of that? How much do you need to know about conducting? How much do you need to know about music history and music theory and reading music? How much do you need to know about theology and church history? How much do you need to know about voices and how they work? And how do you create vision for worship and evangelism in your church? And what part do music and worship arts ministries play in that vision? Well, there are so many aspects to being a leader in music and worship arts ministry that it just takes a lot of time to learn about all these things. My name is Pastor Tom Shedd. I have done large church music ministry in the United States all my life, and I have also been a preaching pastor for 17 years. I have a bachelor's degree in music education from UCLA, and I did a Master of Church Music at USC. I also have a Master of Divinity from Western Conservative Baptist Seminary in Portland, Oregon. My primary instruments are French horn and conducting, but I also sing, play guitar and piano, and write music. I've been married for 35 years and have four adult children and two grandchildren. A few years ago, I prayed Lord, where in the world could I be most effective given my education, experience, and giftedness? The Lord has opened the doors for me to do training through Global Training Network, and this year already I have been doing training in Tanzania, Thailand, Laos, and the Philippines. I'm looking forward to coming to Brazil in April, and this will be my fourth trip to Brazil in the last three years. Now, we're just entering spring here in California, and as you can see, we've had some rain and things are green and beautiful. It's the season of new beginnings and new growth. And I sense that the Lord is preparing a season of new beginnings and new growth in Brazil, and I'm excited to be a part of it. In a few weeks, we're going to do an orientation meeting in Recife and another one in Campina Grande in preparation for upcoming music and worship arts training. Music and Worship Arts Training is a series of six courses. Each course is a three-day event and is offered twice a year for three years. The purpose of the training is to prepare leaders of worship arts ministries in churches and to also train pastors and elders and those who work with those leaders in those churches. The first course is Theology of Worship, and it is a seminary-level course. Now, you don't have to be in seminary to take it, but the material is suitable for a course at that level. And although the course has elements of a workshop in it, the course is not a workshop. It is a course. There are five other courses dealing with developing spiritual maturity and also dealing with interacting with sound lighting projection systems, uh, interacting with instrumentalists, both contemporary and traditional, interacting with singers of all ages, and essentially building vision for music and worship arts ministry, which will help ministry leaders prepare for their life work of leading church uh, music and worship arts ministries in their churches. Now, ideally, the person who takes all six courses would be recognized by their church as having a pastoral level position in the church. They would also be eligible to become trainers of music and worship arts training and to take it throughout the country where they would be the ones leading the training. So because of the extent of this training, we're holding an orientation meeting for leaders in Recife and also in Capina Grande. Uh, the one in Recife will be on Saturday, April 21st from 2 to 5 p.m. And we'd like you to be there to represent your church in order to learn about the training, how it works, what the expectations are for those who attend. Please feel free to bring a group along with you. We want leaders from each church to come to the orientation meetings so that they'll know exactly what music and worship arts training is and how to best communicate it to those in their church who might profit from the training. 
We want as many people as possible to come to the training when it is offered so that the vision for what God might want to do in their ministry will develop as he envisions it. So please come and join us on Saturday, April the 21st from 2 to 5 p.m. We will explain the content of the training and what are the expectations for those who attend. Please pass this invitation on to any and all who you think might be interested. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the 20th.